Hey sweet friends, this is Gina. Welcome to the Rebookery channel. Today is Wednesday the 12th and it's about 5 p.m. Central Time and I just wanted to show you guys um, that I have been working very hard today and I got some more journals ready to put in my shop on Friday the 14th at 7 p.m. So if you saw my video yesterday, I have five um, fabric journals. So here the, here's one of them right here. So I have five of these and I will link the video yesterday. I will link it um, below. And then I told you guys that I was gonna try to finish up these um, fabric storybooks that I had started last year and just never finished. And so I went ahead and finished them up today and ooh, I'm glad I did. They are super, super cute. And so I haven't, I haven't bound them yet, but I can just show you what they look like um, before I bind them. So there are three different ones that I did last year. So there's Lamekin, there's Hop, Skippy, and Jump, and then there's Bunny Button. And so they are a tri-fold journal, so they'll actually fold out. So they have a cover on this side, and then they have a cover on this side, and then they'll have a vintage sheet sash that goes around them. And... I did these guys um, <clears throat> kind of all the same way like I normally do. I used kind of the same setup. So I'll walk you through though because there are different papers and um, just a few little different things that I did. So this one is Lamekin and it has four signatures. They all have four signatures and there are eight times two. So there are 16 pages per signature and I'll list all of this in the Etsy listing. So there will be a pocket. And so the first signature has some uh, wallpaper and I stitched it to some more wallpaper. There will be some stationery, a book page from the book, some letterhead, some scrapbook paper. This one's actually a heavy scrapbook paper. Okay, so this is kind of a weird paper that I'm putting in. So go with me on it. Okay, it is an old baby book. Now I know you're like, but, but I am not going to journal about babies or whatever. I know that's the beauty of it. It's just paper and it's really cool paper and it's nice and thick. And I love the, the worn blue color and it doesn't matter if you're journaling about babies, you can cover this up. So yeah, I thought it was kind of fun, kind of cool. So, um, there will be um, a page of this in there. And then I actually stitched a little bit of wallpaper to it to put a little pocket over on this side. And let's see some dictionary end paper. And then um, another piece of sturdy cardstock uh, scrapbook paper for the inside of that signature. So here's another one. So this is wallpaper, stationery, book page, letterhead, a children's um, workbook. I think this was a book on riddles. This is a piece of vellum and it's nursery rhymes vellum. Dictionary end page and then a piece of scrapbook cardstock, and then I stitched a pocket in this one. Wrapping, sorry, wallpaper, stationery, book page, letterhead, scrapbook paper with an old envelope, calendar page, in book, end paper, sorry, and then this is some cool scrapbook paper. It's kind of shimmery, and I loved the, uh, the crazy colors on that one. And then the fourth signature, wrapping paper, stationery, book page, letterhead, um, children's work, workbook paper, another piece of scrapbook paper, just stitched to another piece, dictionary end page, and then a final piece of scrapbook paper. All right, so, and then this will have a pocket right here and there will be a pocket right here okay so that one is the lambican this one is hop skippy and jump let me make sure i'm in frame all the same components just different colors and by the way i don't know if you remember from last year um so again, this is a journal where everything has been upcycled, recycled, repurposed, salvaged. And if you remember, this fabric right here is an 
old Montgomery Ward's curtain. It was the rubber backed curtain. I found um, a pair new in the package at an estate sale, had never been opened. And I brought them home and my husband was like, what are you gonna do with those? And I put them outside, let them air out for a long time, cleaned them, um, got the smell and everything out of them. They were brand new, so they'd never been opened. And they became the inside for these uh, storybook journals. And so I'm out of them, I don't have them anymore, but yeah, that was that was pretty cool, I love that. And that's kinda, I like how it kinda has a story. So there you go, there's the inside. So wallpaper, stationary, which one am I doing? Oh, hop, skippy, and jump. Wallpaper, stationary, book pages. Now this book was very old, so this is in 1952. So what I did, was I ran a piece of masking tape down the center so that it gives it a little more strength when I go to bind it. Um, if the pages were much more fragile, I wouldn't have put them in, but they'll still be able to, you can glue on them and draw on them. They, they should be okay. Cardstock, music paper, letterhead, Dictionary book um, end papers and then scrapbook paper with a pocket. Same setup, just different papers, different stationery. There's your vellum. There's that cool purple with the gold. And then here's the baby book paper. Envelope fold out. And the fourth signature. And I pulled some wallpaper that kind of had a kiddish theme. Actually, I think I'm gonna switch these pages out. There we go. Um, so you'll see some kind of whimsical wallpaper. It kind of has like some characters and stuff. They're not um, like commercial characters. They're just like bunnies and um, bears and things like that so they kind of added a little little bit of fun and then the last one is bunny button and this is a flannel um, fabric cover and then here's the Montgomery Ward's uh, curtain or drapery so and I have not filled the pockets so wallpaper letterhead book page scrapbook paper end paper stationery baby page, wallpaper, stationery, letterhead, music, end paper, and there's that one. Look at that fun fabric that I stuck on the side there. And then the last one. So these papers will be a lot of fun to cover up. There's a calendar page and then whew, strings. There's your pocket for that signature. And there you go. So these will have four signatures and um, 18, no, 16 pages per signature. So then, I couldn't just be done. I wanted I wanted to make another one. So I made a miniature plaid one. So if you remember, here's the full-sized one, okay? The little owl button and the pocket and the tassel. So I made a smaller one. And so it's the same size as the storybooks. It's just I did a little bit different fabric. Okay, so vintage sheet. Here's your owl button. Here's your pocket. Here's your tassel. Um, there's the spine, there's the back, another spine. Here's another pocket in this one, and this is an old, it was not from actual jeans, it was from some sort of, there was actually Velcro on the top. Um, I think it was used, I don't know, it was used for crafting or something, but I cut all of this extra Sorry, window's open and a truck is driving by. I cut all this extra bulk off and then I just stitched it in. So this will be a pocket. 
And then on the inside, here's what the inside looks like. So this will be a nice pocket. And then these four signatures will follow the same um, progression that the other ones did. And the book that I used for this was a Tom and Jerry's book. And so you'll get a <clears throat> book page in each of the signatures from this, this book. This is a precious book. Um, and then I just took the covers because it was soft back and I made them into tags. So cardstock, stationery. Oops, sorry. Getting a little ahead of myself. Oh, I already did that one. Can't keep track. More stationery. And I don't know about you guys, but um, Tom and Jerry was one of my favorites. My brother and I would come home from school and Tom and Jerry, man, that was our jam. Okay, so check this one out. So this um, wallpaper is a little bit different, but I thought it was kind of cool because this is, you know, kind of a funky dark fabric. So I thought this one would work. So this is the time the pocket's on the inside and then over here, it'll fold out. So you get a little bit of extra journaling. So I thought that was kind of cool. And then same sequence of papers, just possibly in a different order. And then there's your pocket. So with each of these journals, um, I have the extra book pages and I will include those with each book. So you can use these for journaling. So like this goes to um, the Lamykin book and then this is the Bunny Button. This one is Hop, Skippy and Jump and there's a lot of pages with this because like I said, this was an, a much older book. And then the Tom and Jerry, I don't know where the pages are, they must be back on my table, but yes, there's three um, page, double pages that you'll get with this one. So that's what I'm going to put in my shop on Friday in addition to the five other journals. And then I wanna share something with you guys. Check this out. So I, I'm obsessed with calendars, I just can't stop. And I found these guys, there are, like 20 of them, they are all in sequence. So there's like 20, 20 years of calendars and they've been written on and they are pockets. Check that out, they are pockets. And inside the pockets, old receipts. I'm just like, I can't even, yeah. Like, I don't even, they're, you, ah. There are just no words. I'm, I'm stunned. I cannot, <sighs> yeah, <laughs> I'm so excited about this. So I don't know yet how I'm gonna do this. Oh, and the best part is some of the later ones, the ones that were like in the 70s and stuff, they have recipes on the back. So, I don't know, there's just, I, there's so many things going through my head. Um, obviously, I will never be able to use all of these. Um, so I've gotta figure out how and what and like what would be the best way to, um, to do these. I, I just can't, I just don't know. So these, this is in 1966. So the ones that were in the 60s, they actually had photographs. And so um, I thought those were kind of cool. I mean, that's just, ugh, that's just cool, cool, cool. And they are not pockets. It's the ones that were later that actually are pockets. So yeah, I don't know. I just, I don't even, I don't even know. I haven't even gone through them. I've just gone through two or three of them and kind of pulled the receipts and everything out. And I'm just super, super, super excited about those. Um, so give me your, give me your suggestions. Let me know. What do you think? What do you think I should do with these? I was thinking about, um, I wanted to do like a vintage kitchen kit with little old lady recipes and things like that. And so I thought about these pages would be good because they're pockets. I also thought about using these for journal pages because even though they're old, oh, 
there's a receipt. Even though they're old, they they do have enough um, in them that they would be good journal pages. And so I thought about that. Um, I don't know. I, I just, I, I don't know. So let me know. Let me know what you think I should do with these guys and um, what would be the most creative, best way to, to disperse them. And um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I think that is it. So Friday night um, at 7 o'clock, I will have, looks like, nine journals. Who knows? I may come up with a couple more. Um, nine journals, and they will be in my shop. And then on Monday the 16th, let's see, nope, Monday the 17th, um, I'm going to shut my shop down for about 10 days to two weeks. So my shop will be shut down for about two weeks. Give everybody a break. Give me a break. Um, and then of course I'm going to open it back up and I've already been working on more journals for when I open them up, open my shop back up, uh, later this month. So anyway, guys, I hope you're healthy. Hope you're happy and I hope you do something creative today. Bye.